The media is now claiming President Trump is losing support among evangelicals. Listen. When it suits the politics, the piety is great. And when it doesn't suit the politics, the piety is easily excused. And that is hypocrisy. Trump's support among white evangelicals is falling. How did we go from Matthew 25 evangelicals to Stormy Daniels evangelicals? All right, but what happens when you actually talk to value voters? Here now are the co-hosts of CBN's Faith Nation, Jenna Browder and David Brody. Thank you both for being with us. Great to your be with you. Your show's awesome. Congratulations you. on your success. So, Jenna, you sat down. You wrote an article that I read that's on mm -hmm. CBN's website, and you sat down with Tony Perkins from Family Research Council, and you asked him, with, in light of Stormy Daniels, in light of the Billy Bush video, why are so many evangelicals supporting the president? What was his response? Yeah, you know, it comes down to grace, and he, of course, had that, uh, infamous uh, mulligan comment, but he explained that to me, and it, it really does come down to grace and the fact that this president uh, continues to, for the most part, keep it clean in office. We're not hearing about scandals uh, coming out of the Oval Office, and that he continues to deliver on policies that are really important to evangelicals. David, are people, there, are they voting for the Supreme Court? Are they voting for um, how they perceive marriage? Are they voting? What are, why are we going to the polls to vote nowadays? And do the social issues do what we did in the past do they are they carried carried with us into the voting box Ma many of those social issues are they're voting in the macro uh, as Jenna was talking about they they see that from a long time ago a lot of the past look he, he's not a boy scout right this just in but they knew that beforehand and mm -hmm. they realized also that the culture had deteriorated so much mm -hmm. uh, especially in the last 10 to 12 years that they're to a point where they will try anything they are so desperate uh, for someone to bring judeo-christian values back to this uh, country and mm -hmm. so here comes Donald Trump uh, warts and all showing that God definitely has a sense of humor for sure. All right, so look at the Pew poll. Pew poll says one fourth of the electorate in 2016 they voted evangelically, or there there are evangelicals voted for President Trump. A recent poll shows 78 percent of evangelicals approves of the president. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Well, there's a lot of different reasons for it. Obviously, it's the, uh, the values that he... Look, I, I was talking to an evangelical leader the other day, mm -hmm. and I said, so what's on tap for 2018? This was a few months ago. He said, what else is left exactly? I mean, he has done everything that evangelicals have wanted him to do. And so it's funny, because if you remember back in the campaign, a lot of folks were saying, oh, he's just playing evangelicals mm -hmm. like a fiddle. Not at all. He's actually delivering on many of those campaign promises. Yeah, and many of the mainsley, a lot of people who we talked to out there, we were just at an evangelical mm -hmm. conference over the weekend, and many of them will tell you they're very protective of this president, and they feel like the more the mainstream media go after him, the more they feel to, to need the need to protect him. And a lot of uh, journalists just don't understand this, mm -hmm. but evangelicals, many will tell you that they believe that Donald Trump is God's chosen candidate. And for so many people, that just doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, flaws and all, like mm -hmm. you said. Now, the president is going to meet with his, his advisors are going to organize a group of 1,000 pastors, and they're mm -hmm. supposed to all meet this spring. Do you know anything about this? What can you tell us? Well, I can, can tell expect? you we know something about it, mm -hmm. but the mainstream media clearly doesn't. Uh, there, there were so many different headlines saying that evangelical leaders are planning this big June summit to talk to him about Stormy Daniels. Not true, as Donald Trump would say, fake news. The Hill reported it. The Washington Post at first had reported it. They since changed the story. We've reported what is really going on, which is this is a summit of conservative evangelicals that may potentially not even happen, but when it does, it'll be about the issues that Donald Trump will be there. He'll take some questions, but it's, it's issue-focused. That uh, NPR originally had the story, and NPR was reporting what a couple of evangelical organizers or leaders want to talk to the president about, but it's not one of the topics on, you know, Stormy Daniels and the Supreme Court. I mean, it's ridiculous. And once again, it goes to this idea that the more you pile on Donald Trump in the media, the more emboldened and, quite frankly, the more popular he becomes. Yeah, and the idea of fake news. You know, this is not a new uh, concept to a lot of evangelicals. They've been calling it the liberal media mm -hmm. long before President Trump came on the scene. Mm -hmm. Jenna, David, thank you so much for thank being with so us. Thank you so much, Ainsley.